Welcome to Weekend Project. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today we're finishing up our monthly applique. We have November and December here. I'm still got to finish some stuff on December and then I'm going to show you how I'm finishing it out and how I'm going to make it a quilt top, okay? So I'll give you a look on here as November. Some pretty blue colors in there and some teals and stuff. And then, of course, I have some sequins and things. I'm going to decorate these all after it's quilted up. Um, I want to add a little personality to each and every one. So, And then that's what we have going on for December so far. So beautiful cardinals, a couple of big pine trees, and then we're just going to add the door and some steps and the window and just, and just finish it off. And then we'll uh, put it with the sashing, like these ones over here. We are have October ready to go. So it'll go October, November, December. So it's going, I go, I went by three, <clears throat> three by three by three. So, all right, let's place our little window here, our little beautiful green dormer, a little blue and green window, and then I have some steps. Okay, so let's get those sewn down. I'm using uh, a very burgundy sort of thread that actually matches uh, the fabric right here. All right, zigzag, and we'll turn it down to like a 7.5 or a 7, 7 zero, and uh, go from there. Okay, let's get our window lined up properly here. Those beautiful cardinals, they look so cute. Okay, and we're just gonna finish stitching this. And this has been a very fun project. Uh, lovely to be able to bust my scraps and use a bunch of different colored fabrics and, and be able to incorporate them into this, this fun uh, journey that we've been on since for the last few weeks. And it's nice to be able to have it done, so if you wanted to give it away to somebody as a gift, you know, you could definitely, you know, be able to finish it in time uh, to be able to do that. Like for Christmas. Okay. There we go. Oops. Move it over just a smidge. It was a little off. That is the window. And I already did the trees in the house before, just because I knew we had other sashing and stuff to do. But yeah, you know, you guys have been puttering watching away here. So you know what all the mischief I'm up to. <laughs> Alright, let's put the door on. Like the nice dark blue door with the little uh, dark red trim on it. I think that looks nice. Sylvie Nopi's watching. Are you supervising? <laughs> Supervisor Sophie. And I've got lots of buttons that I've been adding for doorknobs. And for the December one, I thought about using some of my very tiny, tiny buttons and making like a little button wreath. So I thought that would be kind of cute. Very dimensional. Okay, now let's get this window down. Put it up a little bit. And then we just have the dormer in the other window and then we can start putting this together. It's been very exciting. We're almost there. It's like, check off my list. <laughs> UFO of 2002, <laughs> you will be soon completed. Uh, shift that just a little bit, there we go. Perfect. Now let's get our little dormer in place. Move it down just a smidge there. There we go. Now you can use a applique stitch for sure. Uh, like I said, if you wanted to heat and bond, you can do uh, a hand applique afterwards. Just add that as your accent stitches that you're, 
that's, you know, taking your, your calendar quilt to that extra step, giving it that extra bit. As many pretty colors you could uh, use embroidery floss to do it for sure, or just even normal re regular thread. And I'm trying to make some of with the sequence that so looks like Christmas lights are hanging around on some of them. And especially December's. December's block, maybe a little bit into January. Okay, you got oh the stairs. We got the stairs. There we go. Isn't that cute? It's really coming together, isn't it? I'm really liking it. Sorry, there we go. Very cute. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, a couple of steps here. Got a couple of big steps and then a small step. No, I should have the big step. And then it was there. That's right, I had it going on either side. So you could come off either way on that house. That's right, that's right. I was like, how did I have this laid out? <laughs> we will figure it out. It almost blends completely on this one. It's got little tiny flowers on the on the fabric. You know, there's not a lot of solids in this project. I mean, there's a few here and there, but not too, too many. I'd say there was more pattern uh, uh, textured pieces than anything else. I'll put you up there, you're gonna get lost. here there we go you can overlap them any way you like and of course I kept my squares at uh, 13 and a half they seem to be uh, with the stabilization they didn't shrink that much with my the zigzagging part of the project so they stayed pretty much at 13 and a half and those are the uh, I cut my strips that go here on this side was two and a half by 13 and a half and then I had some two and a half inch squares that are going right in the center so I have some cornerstones so that's what we have going on and with those two very beautiful colors I didn't want to just do Christmas um, colors being, you know, December the last month. I want maybe this to be able to hang up all year round. So, there we go. I'll put the stair over to that side. Maybe a little closer. Watch, someone's gonna fall down that one. <laughs> they have to put a plant there. <laughs> or a light. over be sure to join us tomorrow for uh, more work on the prism quilt and uh, and of course we will be saying another word and you'll have to take that word and enter it into the website within 48 hours of the end of the live stream okay so we had a lot of entries for last time so good 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 remember spelling counts <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. And that is December's all done. Isn't that cute? Oh, loving it. And I'm gonna, like I said, I'm leaving space in here to do other things with and to be able to add some accents. You know, maybe I'd like to put a nice whole big moon on this one or maybe just a nice big crescent moon and a little Santa hat on it. You know, I can do whatever I like. It's my project, okay? So, but I do love how they have all come together so beautifully. Okay, so this was November, so that's gonna go in the center. This one was December, He's so it's going on the end. But I should have a piece here. Is that the piece for that one? No, that's too long. <laughs> what did I do with it? Oh, here it is. Okay, there we go. That goes on the other side of November, so we can start putting these ones all together here, okay? So this is, like I said, I cut it two and a half by the size of my block, so whether I had it on the bottom or the top, whichever way I was doing my sashing or your piecing or whichever makes you happy, uh, it's all going to be the same, okay? So make sure you change it back to a straight stitch. I'll leave the red thread on the top with the burgundy-type fabric, so... And I do have white in the bottom. 
So hopefully they're okay. Let's uh, give this a little look. Oh, it looks fine. We can't see anything. Good, good, good. All right, so now we're going to take this December's, add it to November's, just like that. And like, if you want, you can pin it, but I think it's just pretty much even enough. Just even it up enough, and uh, so on down. Make sure your houses are the correct way. You wouldn't want one upside down. That's for sure. No upside downness. Okay, and then this one onto here. Okay. And you can do a different size of sashing. The, the key point is, is to make the cornerstones as well as the sashing the same size uh, for the inside. And then of course you can have a bigger uh, border fabric uh, any way you like. I have four inches. I have four inches of this dark fabric as my border to go all the way around. So, and I think it'll look nice. And it doesn't scream Christmas colors to me, so. Okay, so there's our October, November, and December, our final row to add to this uh, monthly calendar quilts, okay? So what we have to do is to put the sashing in between. So we need to line up our cornerstones to the top of the burgundy sashing, and then we're gonna pin it, and hopefully that lines up quite nicely, okay? So we have to add that there, and then we'll add that to the bottom, because that is, yeah, that's July, August, and September. Right. School's fast approaching us up here. Got two weeks and a bit. It's gonna go by super fast. <laughs> I I don't know why I'm always surprised the summers disappear so fast, but they do. <laughs> You'd think I'd be used to it after all these years, but they just seem to go poof. Some days are lazy days and some days are busy days and just keeps me out of trouble most of the time. All right, so we're adding to the top so we can add that top to that part right there and then we can see what our uh, borders are gonna look like. We'll have to do some measuring and then cutting. Do have strips already cut. So as for the amount of strips of the two and a half with the fabric, I cut six and that gave me enough uh, pieces to do the sashing in between uh, the blocks going up and, and across, uh, up and down and across. Sorry. And then depending how many blocks you want is, well, this is for the 12, okay? And depending on, you may need some more sashing if you want it uh, bigger or, or, you know, you got more blocks going on than just 12, you're doing something else. Maybe you're adding uh, another set of blocks all the way around to frame it out. Maybe the holidays in that month or something. I think that might be a little neat. I will with um, a light green thread, probably very similar to this, um, I don't know, that color right there. Uh, uh, use embroidery to uh, name the months as well, so. Okay, so there we go. Then we'll just give that a little press and then we'll have to sew it to the top. Oh, there's another pin there, okay. Sew it to the, um, the other months, okay. Sorry, I feel like my pack was hanging out there. And here's the strips for the border. And of course we used the medium to lightweight heat and bond for this project. And it made it come along very fast and efficient. And like I said, there was not a lot of uh, puckering with the fabric as we were stitching it down with that zigzag motion or uh, applique stitch. So, okay, now we take these two. Here, I'll show you so you can see a little bit what's going on here. Okay. Then we're just going to add these ones. Make sure we got them the correct way. Don't want nothing upside down. Doesn't take much to get confused, that's for sure. And then just lining it up and then putting those little pins 
and the spots that need to be pinned. Do the best you can, just flip and flop the seam. And hopefully that'll make things line up. If you have to go back and tweak one or two or all of them, then go ahead. That's up to you. Okay. We got the Hillsburg Family Fun Day Saturday. Well, actually, we'll be doing the live stream and they'll be taking over the street. So <laughs> you might hear some cars and some kids and stuff. People may want to try and knock on the door. <laughs> this could be interesting. <laughs> It'd be that door they were coming to. <laughs> All right, let's sew this down. And then you get a really good idea of how these beautiful months applique project from HGTV comes together. And I was happy to hear it was a, someone else's UFO as well. It wasn't just me. <laughs> I'm just so happy I got so much more progress done on it this time around with, you know, doing it with you guys as well, right? So it made me commit <laughs> that I had to do it. <laughs> and it's something I've always wanted to try and finish, so I don't have to try and finish it anymore. It is almost there. And I try not to keep too many quilt tops around. You know, you can do some, just some base stitches until you get the time to hand quilt things. Uh, you can always tuck things in pillowcases to keep them safe and secure while you're not working on them. You know, there's a, the latest and the greatest are these uh, craft bags or project bags with plastic on the front. So maybe we'll end up making a couple of those. They seem pretty cool. Especially for, I thought of it actually for Cousin Carol and the cross-stitching stuff. So I thought that might be nice. All right, let's give that a little press and then we'll show you. Oh, this is so pretty. And you don't even have to put another border on this if you don't want to. I mean, you can just leave it with the sashing and, and let it just be what it is as a nice big wall hanging. Maybe just put some, uh, what is it, the cuddle, the minky stuff on the back and it can just be the, you know, whatever quilt that everybody cuddles with on the couch. I see a couple of my little corner things I'm gonna tweak, so, but that's okay, that's much for me to do. And then, there we go, hopefully you can see all that. That looks lovely. And then I'm just gonna put that little four inch border all the way around. So I'll just give you a little looky what it's gonna look like here in the upper corner. Okay, it's gonna go. Like that. A big square. And across like this. And that is just gonna frame it out. So is that beautiful? Oh I can't wait. Of course there's threads everywhere. <laughs> just the way it goes, projects, I tell you. Threads everywhere. That is our monthly applique, and that's how I'm finishing it. So it really should be uh, a fair size when you think about it in the end uh, with the adding the four inches here, there, and everywhere. You know, you could have done it with this fabric instead with the uh, burgundy if you had to reverse and do some alternates if you're just working with a bit of fabric. You know, you can always even scrappy bit it. You know, it's totally completely up to you. So I'm so happy you guys are along in the adventure with me, and I can't wait to see yours all finished. So thank you very much. Big hugs. And I'm happy this UFO is off my list. So don't forget to check us out on Patreon. And we will see you tomorrow for continuation on the prism quilt. Okay, big hugs, everybody. Have a great rest of the weekend.